Hi everyone, Becky here, and I have the privilege of telling you a little bit about Lawrence Yep, the wonderful author who wrote Dragon Wings, as well as over 60 other books and plays. Now, in case you don't know, Dragon Wings is actually part of a series called Golden Mountain Chronicles, two of which are Newbery Honor books, and Dragon Wings is one of those. So, Mr. Yep was born in 1948, and he's still alive, and he has accomplished and is still accomplishing so much. So we've, we've sort of simmered all that living and writing and doing into five things we think you should know or that you might find interesting about him and his life. So firstly, he calls his life a Cinderella story because he came from humble beginnings. But through hard work and dedication to education, he not only earned his doctorate and went on to teach at several universities, but has also become the successful author that we know today. He said, I'm a kid from two ghettos. The fact that I'm actually making a living as a writer is remarkable. And we would add that there's even a little Cinderella type romance in his story, since he ended up marrying his editor, the woman who first encouraged him to write stories for children. So here's a little bit about his life. Mr. Yup was born in San Francisco, California, not far from where Jenny and I live now. His father had come to San Francisco as a boy and after struggling through the Great Depression, had moved his family to a multicultural but predominantly African-American neighborhood where his father was able to open a grocery store. So that was the world Mr. Yep first knew as a child. He grew up working in the family store where he recalls learning early on how to observe and listen to people and how to relate to others. He said it was good training for a writer. So he grew up in this African-American neighborhood and then he attended bilingual Catholic school in Chinatown. He was bused to Chinatown for that. And there the kids made fun of him because he couldn't speak Chinese. So as you can imagine, this made him feel like an outsider. In fact, feeling alien is a theme in his stories. Growing up, Yep often felt torn between mainstream American culture and his Chinese roots. And a lot of his work deals with characters feeling like they just don't fit in, something that Mr. Yep has said he struggled with since he was a child. He said, I was too American to fit into Chinatown and too Chinese to fit in anywhere else. Now, he's talked about this in interviews since then, and rather than speaking for him, we're including this link to a video of him telling about his experiences as a Chinese American and how that impacted him as a person and as a writer. But I will uh, share something that I read about him, and that is that facing white American culture for the first time as a teen made him feel like he had landed on another planet. He felt that excluded and different. He couldn't identify with the characters in mainstream books for kids and young adults like Homer Price, where every kid had a bike and didn't have to lock their doors because that just wasn't his experience, right? And looking for books that he could connect with, he became drawn to science fiction. He said, I read fantasy and science fiction because in those books, Children are taken away from our everyday world. They go off to another place where they have to learn strange new customs and even a new language. And they talked about adapting. And that's something that I did every time I got on and off the bus. So to me, he says, fantasy and science fiction were much more realistic. Interesting, right? So it was while attending high school that he actually started writing for a science fiction magazine and he was paid one cent a word for his efforts. But it paid off because seven years later he wrote and published his first book, a novel based on the TV series Star Trek, which we think is pretty exciting because Jenny and I are big fans of that show. But as Yep's writing matured, he began to focus on the Chinese immigrant experience, creating carefully researched novels that really established him as one of the most respected writers for young readers. Our third interesting thing is that Wind Rider and Moonshadow were inspired by Mr. Yep's own father and grandfather. 
His grandfather was born in San Francisco in 1967, but went to China to find a wife. And there, he had at least six kids before returning by himself to America to work as a domestic servant. And eventually, he was able to send for his youngest son when the boy was 10. Very similar to what happened in Dragon Wings, right? And that young boy was Mr. Yep's father. Mr. Yep says, I know my father had a hard time. And doing Dragon Wings was a way of stepping into his shoes. Interesting thing, number four may surprise you. He's the author of three American girls stories. He wrote the Isabel series about a young girl who lives in Washington, D.C. with her parents and attends a school for the arts where she's working on becoming a ballet dancer. <laughs> that storyline is pretty far away from the young moon shadow and the situations he faces in this story. So it surprised us. If it sur and maybe it surprises you too, and it shows us what a versatile and talented author Mr. Yep is. Okay, last interesting fact. He went to college in our hometown. Okay, you might not think that's so interesting, but we love that he got his bachelor's degree from the University of California right here in Santa Cruz in 1970. Jenny's kids went there too, and the university is really very much a part of our local culture here and scene. So he went on to get his PhD in English and today, as well as being a very successful author, he's also taught writing and Asian American studies at the University of California in Berkeley and Santa Barbara. And he still lives here today, locally in Northern California. So that's our introduction to Lawrence Yep. We hope that you'll check out some interviews with him as well so you can hear and see him talk about his life and writing. He's a really remarkable man, and he has all of our respect. We're so grateful he's shared his experiences and his imagination with us. Mm -hmm.